Hello YouTube. Thought I'd do a quick video here. I want to show you something and I'll do some explaining here. Uh, but I want to show you something while I can. Um, and what I have here is I have the Redivis RT91 amplifier hooked up to a dummy load watt meter. I have the Redivis RT97 repeater hooked up to the amplifier. I'm running a one kilohertz tone that's uh, playing over a handheld that's programmed to the repeater frequency that is over there and right here see my wattage is starting to drop see that look at that see that dropping but watch what happens when I turn that fan on see it go back up so I found the problem as you can see and the problem is, this likes to overheat and needs more airflow. Now, I'm going to say here, obviously, I'm running this amplifier a lot harder than most people probably would. This amplifier does have a big aluminum heat sink. You can see the screws on the other side of this. And so that's probably going to be sufficient for most people. But if you're going to be running this in a as a with a repeater I highly recommend you run a fan now uh, the fan that I have here it's something that I had laying around it's a two inch fan it's 12 volt DC I don't know how many uh, CFMs it does it's a 2.2 watt I'll show you the model number of the fan you can use a smaller fan see, see now watch see that see that let me hit the switch that I turned the switch on the fan look at that see that so that's proof that that's the problem um any rate so what I did was is I'm having the fan blow on the transistor itself and I'll show you that in a minute I just have this sitting that these wooden doll rods are just sitting on here now if I was gonna obviously make this a permanent situation I would I'd have to take the cover Cut a hole for the fan, mount the fan on here, drill some more holes so the airflow can come out. I have the fan blowing on the output transistor itself. And uh, it's better to put it on the edge because obviously, let's go ahead and turn this all off. It's better since this fan is going to, you know, you're going to get more airflow on the edge, not in the center. So I lined it up. Here's the part number that I'm using, but you're well, you know, obviously you can use a smaller fan. Here's the output transistor. So I line up this fan since the edge of this fan blows a lot more obviously than the center. So I just set it on here and just kind of go like that and see how I did that. So it's kind of right on the edge. So I get a lot of airflow. So that's how I do that. Now, if I was going to use this with a repeater, I probably use a rack system and leave the covers off this thing and then permanently make a bracket that comes up and over and then down on both sides and then mount the fan that way. It's better to cool the transistor itself directly than try to cool the heat sink. You'll get faster results if you run air on the output transistor than you would trying to cool a big aluminum heat sink. Okay? Now again, I'm driving this thing harder than what most people are going to do. This is a two minute key up time with a one kilohertz tone, one minute off, and then another two minutes key up time. Okay? So, you know, and I'm doing this because I'm, I did that, I tried to do that live stream. I want to see if I can, if this 10 watt du duplexer w will burn out if I run 20 plus watts into it. But when I did that live stream, I started to lose wattage. My needle started to drop, 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 drop. And I, and I didn't know why. I didn't know if it was the amplifier. I didn't know if it was a repeater. I don't know what it was. Well, obviously, it's the amplifier. And uh, like I said, it's not, uh, I'm pushing it to the limits. So you don't probably need to do this. But you know what? If I, if I was going to use this amplifier in a, in a repeater, permanent repeater situation, I think I'd get a rack and leave the covers off, mount a fan just like this. Um, you can get a smaller fan too, but blow it right on the transistor on itself. You, you'll get much, much better, 
better results and faster too than uh you know blowing it on the heat sink that's underneath there. Now heat sink's pretty big. It's an aluminum, big aluminum chunk. You can see the screws here. And it goes way over here. See the screws there? So it's a good size heat sink in there, but it does not displace heat fast enough. And that's why this thing starts to shut down like a thermal shutdown. I did put a temp my um thermal gun on the output transistor without the fan and i got about 160 170 degrees fahrenheit on that so she that transistor runs warm um so yeah definitely definitely is definitely the uh problem uh with with the setup i want to run um actually what i would probably do to truth be told i think i'm gonna i think i would to have my to have my rack small I don't need this is this is the Redivis RT97 repeater. I don't need the whole case. I don't need all this. I mean, all it is is just a display. I mean, I don't need that. Once you program it, so I could really just put all this. I'd put a fan on here too, uh, you know, good size fan, help blow, and uh, I just you know then I, I'd have to hook up the duplexer obviously. But put all I mean I could put all this in a small, a lot smaller package. Than most repairs are out there. You know, build a rack system or buy a rack system. Now we're we got it keyed up here. Let's see if she starts to drop. Sometimes got to cycle a couple times for it to build up heat. The fan's off. Let's see if we get her to drop here. Might have to cycle a couple times here. But uh, but at any rate, um, I do have a radio here. I can hear the tone. I, obviously, I have this program to repeater frequency. Like I said, I have another radio like this over there hooked up to the computer that's that's letting it do its um, two-minute play, one minute off. That's how I'm doing that. I'll have to let it run here for a few minutes. But uh, but definitely, that's my problem. So I'm gonna I'll probably just leave it like this for the live stream when I do the live stream again. Uh, I'll make it more a little more. It's kind of just, you know, thrown together here quick. But I'll probably just leave it just like this and just leave the fan run all the time. And I'll, and I'll just hook the duplexer back up and we'll see if we can burn up that duplexer. But now I think I solved the problem. The, the good news is when I do this live stream, it's going to go, it's going to do, oh, there we go, we're dropping. See that? This live stream is going to do two things at once. See that drop? Okay, watch when I flip the switch. Fan on. Look at that, boom, right back up almost instantly. But the good news is when I do this live stream, not only are we going to be testing that duplexer, we're going to be testing this amplifier too at the same time. So it's like kind of a two-for-one deal when I do that live stream on the duplexer. So that instantly cooled it down. I'll turn off my switch, turn off the fan. And it don't take long for it to start building up heat on that on that. And I should probably, I guess if you guys really want to know, I don't know if I can do this or not. Well, let's try it. I don't know. Hard to do things one hand. That's the nice thing about having a tripod hold all this. Let's uh, let's take this off. Set it there. Let's get the thermal camera. Let me get this where I need to be first. Okay, right there, right there, it's hard to hold all this, where am I at, 106, oh, she just keyed up, 170, it's hard to hold all this, 174, 180, so you get the point, so now, let's put the thermos can back, let's get my fan back, we're going to start dropping, we're putting the fan back on here, Like so. Okay. Let's see if she built enough heat to start dropping yet. Takes a few cycles for it to start to show up. That's why, that's how it showed up that day in the live stream. I had to run it a few times and it's just got worse and worse and worse. Got down to like 10 watts coming out of the duplexer. So let this, let this baby cycle a few times here. She might take a few cycles. I just want to show it to you one more time. 
Um, and hopefully we can do this here. But uh, that's how I would do it. I would just put this on the rack, leave the covers off, put another fan on there, keep the fan like this, build a better bracket, obviously. Okay, there we go. We're dropping. We're dropping. So now I'm going to turn this on. Boom. It was on 20. Now we're back to, what is that, 30? 30, 35, something like that. You saw it on 20. So there you are. That's the problem. So... Like I said, in most cases, you probably don't need the fan. But if you're going to run this as a repeater at a location, and you're going to have it hooked to a network, probably not a bad idea to buy a cheap fan and add a fan to this, and to the amplifier. So, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you, and have a good day.